Hello students, Gate and Special Online Professor welcomes you and today we will discuss important con geometry concepts from general principle of design, drawing and importance of safety. So before starting of our 7th module, I need to just introduce basic geometry concept. I just expect that uh, you also know the basics of uh, like geometry, like some concepts are there and uh, I am giving some basic points are there. All basic points are important whenever we just deal with uh, some drawings, okay. So these points are very important. First of all, like uh, first topic here we will discuss. Sir, what do you mean by point? Okay, what is the line? Okay, so point means, sir, on the space, okay, for example, x and y and z plane, okay, x, y and z plane. Some point means, sir, there is a no width, no height and no depth. Means, sir, width is equal to 0, height is equal to 0, depth equal to 0. But, sir, in line cases, what one thing may be there, okay, it may be just like this or on x axis or on y axis, okay. Only one thing is not equal to zero and uh, all other things are zero. Okay. So point me kya hota hai ki aapka sab cheez zero hota hai. Line me kya hota hai ki sir do cheez zero hoga aur ek cheez increasing hoga. For example sir, is example me humne dekha sir, just see this example. Okay. Here we have x not equal to zero and y and z equal to zero. Means sir this is line. So what is the difference between your point and line? Okay. So this is the main difference between point and line. Now we will discuss two types of basic lines are there like like different two lines have different methods like this this is known as a parallel line non parallel lines means this is means uh, these types of lines are non parallel lines okay perpendicular lines are there means uh, you know intersecting lines this types okay this is the tangent line now we will discuss sir operations on line okay so first of first operation we will discuss how, what operation we can just uh, perform on uh, lines okay so first operation just you can just see bisecting of line for example sir this is the line and we need to just divide into two equal parts without scale how to do okay so first step just draw one line okay just like which line we want to just intersect in two equal parts okay just draw that line okay take your compass and just open more than half okay so once you just have the compass leke usko aadhe se jyada kholna hai theek hai fir then put this compass to on a and just make one arc okay from b make one arc so middle point of this it just will divide this line into equal parts so this is the first operation second operation set divided into two equal parts okay like dividing into different parts not only two for example sir i want to just divide into three equal parts so how to do you need to just what you need to do just make this line a and b then make an angle this is the one uh, one diagonal line just make this diagonal line and make this angle less than 90 degree okay like 45 60 or 75 but not like equal to 90 okay so just like this and uh, just make one last point here and uh, like three equal parts of this point like one if we want to just draw divide this line to three parts okay so one and two and this is the three okay so this is not point so one part of this line diagonal second and third so now draw one line this this and this so this is means sir this uh, diagonal line just uh, cut uh, into a b into three equal parts okay so this is the processor how to make uh, diagonal lines and uh, how to cut uh, like uh, intersections uh, of any lines into three equal parts okay so if you if we don't have any scales also directly we can just put now sir different types of angles are there if theta is less than 90 degree that is known as acute angle theta equal to 90 degree sir right angle obtuse angle sir theta greater than 90 straight line sir theta equal to 180 degree okay now we will discuss sir we just discuss what is the point and what is the line same thing we will discuss in planes so planes sir two things are not equal to zero for example sir this is the y plane this is the z plane sorry x plane and this is the z plane so what you need to do here sir not x is not also equal to 0 and y is also not equal to 0 means sir z equal to 0 so that is known as your plane okay so different kinds of planes are there so planes are triangles sir. okay so different types of triangles i just define here all you should know i think okay, this is the basic 10th class of geometry you should understand all things because of if your basics are 100 percent definitely this is also helpful when you are in your geometry parts like in your reasoning aptitude part also this is helpful in your mathematics okay so this uh, topics like very very small topics but very important for your base concepts okay so first is just like uh, what is the equilateral angles right angle okay all angles acute triangle means all angle 90 less than 90 degree okay theta equal to angle 90 greater than 90 degree means obtuse angle so different kinds of angles just uh, or like triangles just i provided same thing like 
quadrilaterals also i just provide what is the square rectangle rhombus okay rhombite trapezoid and trapezoid gm okay now sir very important topic what is the regular polygon okay so polygon is nothing means sir more than one lines just make some closed shapes okay for example sir regular polygon means sir all sides are equal okay for example n equal to 5 then all five lines are equal but sir in irregular polygons lines some like this okay it is not uh, like equal so there is a regular polygon means sir for example hexagon this is the irregular polygon so okay so polygon means sir n number of lines makes closure shape in the regular polygon in the internal angle is equal to each other very important topic just for example sir in regular polygon n equal to 5 that is will create pentagon okay so this like this you will get a structure when n equal to 5 if n equal to 6 we will get sir hexagon okay so this is means sir n equal to 6 so this is the also polygon this is also polygon so polygon means sir but now very important question will ask sir what is the external angle in this polygons regular polygon and what is the internal angle and what are the sum of internal angles okay just only three formulas are very very important directly maximum times these types of questions ask directly from polygons okay so external again is nothing sir out of 36 uh, sorry 360 divided by n okay for example n equal to 5 then divide 360 divided by n so that is angle value of external angle and what is the internal this is the formula n minus 2 divided by n into 180 okay and sum of equal to n minus 2 multiply by 180 so for example i am taking n equal to 5 means pentagon so what is the exterior angle value just use formula what is the internal just use formula you will get this formula okay so directly these types of very important now sir we will discuss solids you know guys we have just discussed plane sir in plane not x is equal to not equal to 0 y is also not equal to 0 but sir in solids what happen this z direction is also there means sir on z side also we don't have any 0 means here this is the condition x plus y equal to z not equal to 0 okay so all things are not equal to 0 so this means create sir your uh, this is the solid now sir different kinds of solids are there like cube, cuboid, slender, okay, oblique, uh, slender means sir some aligned there, okay. So what is the slender and oblique slender means sir some alignment is there. What is the right cone? This is the oblique cone, okay, this is the prism and uh, spares. So different kinds of things are there and very important in your engineering drawing, we have two things are very important. First is just your slender, second is just cone. I need to suggest in slender what like these things are known, okay. So this is known as your altitude. This is the means from here to here. This is the H means sir altitude or height. Okay. This is known as your axis. And this is known as radius of circle. Which circle just above or below. Okay. This is known as base. But in cones are same thing. Okay. So this is known as altitude. This is known as radius of uh, radius of circle. And this is known as slant height. So guys in cone like last to last year IES question directly from this topic like uh, they just ask uh, slant height and uh, altitude related some question okay. So if you know in in uh, in a right cone or cone what happen this is many students confused okay. So this is the height and this is the slant height. So slant height is the special concept in your uh, cones okay. So this is like a basic concept just I given for uh, your uh, before seventh module I just started. So just learn and just uh, try to study all module. So everything just important from this module. This is the very very small concepts uh, I just introduced before uh, next phase of your drawing. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this video. This video is uh, completed and uh, soon we will discuss our seventh module. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you.